welcome back to Boots and Bunny Homestead. You're back in Casey's Kitchen with Casey herself. And today we have a special subscriber recipe. This one, she didn't technically submit it to me, but I learned this recipe a few years ago. And it's from my friend Carla. And at the time, she was my supervisor at work. We shared a lot of recipes and talked about a lot of stuff there. This was one of the recipes that she came up with that was quick and easy. It's called a crystal burger casserole. Yes, I'm talking about the little crystal burgers. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what all we need. So first of all, we are going to start off with, I'm going to use about um, two pounds of our ground deer, but you can use about two pounds of meat. If you're going to use the big crescent dough sheets, um, or you can use regular crescent rolls, just the roll up ones, and cut it in half. You might want to use a one pound. So all depending on how big you make it as to how much um, of the meat you want to use. And if you want to make it thinner, you can go ahead and use a pound, pound and a half for a big casserole dish. Totally up to you. Our deer we've got comes in um, two to two and a half pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and make all of it and because we got a lot of people to feed. And um, that way it'll it'll last longer because we'll have smaller pieces. The next thing you'll need is onion soup mix. And you can make your own. I just have not yet. And um, we're going to use one pack out of here. And I'll get to the rest of it in just a minute. Let's go ahead and brown our meat real quick. While this is browning, go ahead and turn your oven on to 350 degrees. So we've got our meat brown now. If you have any, like a whole lot of grease or a whole lot of fat in your meat, go ahead and drain it. This is our deer meat, which is 70-30 with beef, uh, beef fat. So um, there's not a whole lot of liquid in here and the liquid that's left is gonna help with the next step. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one package of our onion soup mix and go ahead and mix it in with it. We'll just let that sit there and absorb that and then soup mix there. So let's go ahead and prepare our pan. And I'm just going to lightly spray this with a little bit of Pam. And then we need to lay down our first crescent roll. And I use the dough sheets. They're a lot easier because we don't ever eat just crescent rolls. We always use this with um, sausage casserole or when I make this. Alright, that was kind of rough, huh? <laughs> Alright, this is like a 11 by 14 inch dish. It's fairly on the bigger side. Alright. Close up those holes and work its way down. That looks decent for a bottom, huh? Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and put our meat in. Let's give it a one more mix over here. Put it in our casserole dish. And spread it out. Okay. The next layer is going to be whatever condiments you want to put on here. You can put on mustard or ketchup. Um, I usually do just mustard on one half. And then uh, ketchup, if they decide they want to put it on there, they can put it on themselves afterwards or dip it in. Or just squirt it on the top. But mustard is what's really optional at this house because not everybody eats it. So I usually put mustard just on one half. 
Um, I'm going to omit it for this time because the kids are mostly going to be eating this. And the next layer is going to be the dill pickles. This is my homemade dill pickles. And you can just, you can try to time it on the placement of your pickles where you're going to cut them. So say, you know, they're little squares that you get. So you might want to do four rows and then put them in those rows as you go across. As if you get like one pickle per burger. If not, that is fine too. You put them on there however you want to. Or if you don't like the pickles, you can leave those off. Your recipe, you make it the way you like it. You can put bacon on this too if you like. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. The next step is going to be to layer some cheese on here. Now you can do cheese slices or shredded cheese. But I'm going to do the cheese slices. The next layer is your last casserole, mm, crescent roll. <laughs> we'll layer this on top. Maybe this one will do a little bit better for me since it's on top. <laughs> I kind of have to pull them open as I roll it out to keep it kind of wide this is such a wide casserole dish mm, that'll be okay now yeah. into the oven it goes so now the casserole is going to cook until the top is golden brown Make sure, if you have a clear dish that you can see through, make sure the bottom gets done. If you run into the problem of your dough not being done on the bottom or more towards the inside, you can go ahead and cook the bottom layer for about five minutes before you put any of the different layers on top and stick it in the oven. Or, if you need to, you can cook it longer but turn it down to 325 it also depends on the thickness of the pan if you have just a metal pan it's a lot thinner so you may need to watch the bottom so it doesn't burn if you're in a glass dish you need to make sure that the middle does get done so just kind of play around with your oven mine set at 350 and it's probably going to take about 10 to 15 minutes but we're going to watch it and i'll show you what it looks like when we're done So here is my casserole, a crystal burger casserole, all done. As soon as it cools off, we will cut it and I will show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so there you have an easy recipe for a crystal burger casserole. Go out and enjoy this one and let me know what you think. Also let me know what you are doing different to yours to give it your family's pizzazz on this wonderful recipe. So until next time, go ahead and like and subscribe and we will see you later. Bye bye.